Hello guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is an all day clean. I've got a little bit of everything in today's video. There's a lot of deep cleaning, everyday cleaning and also some decluttering and organising. So if you like that sort of thing, do go ahead and subscribe and leave today's video a thumbs up and let's just jump straight into it. started i just wanted to show you the current situation that's going on in the front room and just walk you around and show you what needs doing today i've also done a little bit of decorating yesterday but i didn't film it was actually a day off and i just had the urge to switch things around if you've been here before you know that i get that urge a lot i also did a bit of diy and just everything looks so much better so i do want to just walk you around and show everything but i will show you everything in the front room once i have if you can see move that cage out because that is just a temporary one so i'm just going to flip you around so it's easy for you to actually see what i'm talking about so this is the temporary cage that's really easy to put up and down so i am going to go ahead and put that away so i can give everything a good hoover and go in and show you how i decorated you might recognize that little um jug from the kitchen that was my little diy project but it's not too bad everywhere today to be honest so it's not going to take me too long Coming through into the kitchen, it really isn't bad at all and it looks a lot messier than it is. I know it's only going to take me five to ten minutes to get all of this tidied up. But I also want to try and get all of that down today so I can just sort it all out, store it somewhere else and then hopefully I can actually decorate along there. I'm really thinking ahead of myself but I'm thinking for like Christmas and other occasions where I can have like... um garland or something like that at the top but i also got rid of the shoe rack yesterday and i've just put some shoes in this little um basket that was for the throw blankets but now the throw blankets are just in the cupboard and i just love how open this is without that there but i am just preparing for the hallway makeover because I wanna clear everything out, all of that's gonna go and I'm gonna paint it, I'm gonna have a table and it's just gonna be completely different. So I thought I'd get that cleared out and just see how much space I've got to work with. But obviously I'm not doing that makeover today. I just wanted to show you what I did yesterday. But yeah, I think I'm gonna start off um, in the kitchen. I'm then gonna take that down, do all of this i also need to do the bedroom and dust and everything but as soon as i've hoovered down here i can put it back up again you'll see in the video that it literally takes seconds to put it up and down so it's not a problem to do that and then once that's done i can bring the babies down and they can hang out down here but i just want to get all of this cleaned away first and just get it nice and fresh before we make even more mess and it will just be easier to put it away and put it back up again so this is what we are working with today i'm not sure if i'm going to get to that today it just depends how brave i am because i know there's going to be spiders up there but i might just get something and knock it all down and see what happens but i really just want that all clear because it's a bit of an eyesore especially when the kitchen's nice and clean and the front room's nice and clean and then you just look up there and it's a complete mess so i'm hoping to get to that today but yes the first thing i'm gonna do is start off in the kitchen because that's my favorite room to do and it gives me all the motivation that i need to carry on so i'm just gonna start with that and then work my way through the rest of the house to have a good time my glass was always half empty but now you're in my life we're far away from the city lights so small under the night sky it's just a stupid So 
So once I had everything cleared away and I'd done the washing up and everything, I just wanted to go in and wipe over the sides before heading through into the front room and putting that cage away, giving it a good hoover and a tidy up and just getting my house back to a nice cozy state. I do end up rebuilding the cage at the end of the video so I can bring the bunnies downstairs but I do like to just pack it away during the day so I can give it a good old clean. So I'm just going to finish up in the kitchen and then move through into the front room. So I really didn't know what to do with that air purifier. I did really want it in the kitchen, but there's not really a plug socket where I want it to go. And as soon as I moved this over to the other side, I realized that it doesn't really make much sense to have the tea and coffee not next to the kettle. So I soon took that out and just put the air purifier back in the hallway. And I think I'm just gonna need to rethink where that's gonna go permanently because it does make the whole downstairs smell beautiful. So I definitely do want to use it, but I'll just rethink that for another time. So I'm slowly changing things up around the house, especially in the kitchen and the front room. And I just wanted to see what it would look like having the throw blankets slightly different because I always just have them folded up, but I like the loungy look and they're not actually the right material that I want. I do want to get some cotton ones and knitted ones and just so they look a little bit more modern farmhousey rather than the sort of glam fur. But I just thought I would pop them like that now to see what it looks like and to see what I need to change and I really do love that look. I'm also going to be adding some shelves above the sofa so I can have some more decor on and yeah I've just got so many plans and I just need to try and figure it all out. I don't want to end up buying stuff that I end up not using so I'm definitely trying to work it all out and actually think about it before doing it because so often I rush into things and I end up not liking how it looks and it just ends up being a complete waste of time and money. So this time I'm definitely going to take my time with everything and really figure out how I want my house to look. So once I had the cage all taken down, I then just needed to go in and give everywhere a good hoover. And I'm really glad that we kept this corded Vax hoover. The suction's amazing. And even though I love my cordless hoover, it's so lightweight and easy to use. This one is definitely better for the bigger jobs. So whenever there is just hay everywhere, I always go for this one because it just makes it 10 times easier. So I'm just gonna whiz around and get everything nice and fresh.
got this space all cleaned up i just wanted to show you what i did yesterday and i love how this turned out this was the um silver jug that i had in the kitchen and i gave it two coats of paint and i think it looks gorgeous it definitely fits the theme i'm going for a lot more than the silver one did and yeah i just think it's so pretty it came out really well and i also did this area here but looking at it now i might actually put the clock back there i think that might actually suit it more than that picture so i'm just going to grab the clock because obviously it's like a mantelpiece clock but we don't obviously have a mantle so it'll probably look better on the radiator cover than in the kitchen so let's pop it on and see if it looks better than that picture but i do really like this so i'm gonna have to find somewhere for that to go but i just think the clock will probably suit it a little bit more and i've also got a plain oh, it's a lot harder with one hand than i thought it would be but i've also got just a plain um bottle up in the laundry room which i think i'm going to swap out instead of having the pink one but i'm not sure i'll have to uh, have a think about that but see i don't actually think i like it i am so indecisive when it comes to home decor but i actually think i do prefer this being there but i think i might swap it out eventually for more of um like a modern farmhouse type of sign like a wooden sign i think that'd look really nice on here again i'll clear that off and have it as a plain one and this was actually just the um chain that hung it on the wall but i actually like what that sort of adds to it and no, yeah, I definitely do prefer that over the clock. So the clock's going to have to go somewhere else for now. I know what I'm like. In a couple of months, I probably will change it all again. But I do need to change that there because I don't like that it's got the pink on it. Um, so I will change that out for a clear one. But yeah, I just really like it. changing stuff up. And I didn't have to spend any money on doing this. It's just everything I already had. So definitely do shop your home if you want to rearrange stuff or you want... A new space because just changing stuff around can make it look brand new the postman's here it's really awkward um but also just painting the um jug has given it a completely new look so just a splash of paint and what you've already got in a different room it could make all the difference so i really like how this looks but i think eventually i am going to swap that sign out for a nice wooden one i think so it'll just complement the diffuser that i've got over there i need to put the xbox controller away but yeah i really like this space So I'm now back in the kitchen and I just need to put that little bit of washing up away and I have decided to organise and declutter on the top of the cabinets. I've actually been thinking about it all day whether I should go for it or leave it and I've decided to just go for it. I'm going to put some gloves on, grab the ladders and also my duster because that way I didn't have to touch anything but you can see that I am going so slow and checking for spiders and honestly I was terrified so I thought I'd have the gloves on in case there was a spider it wouldn't actually touch me just the glove and I also had the duster so I could just knock everything off of the shelf without having to actually grab it so I did end up speeding this up because it was a very long process I was just shaking the whole time and terrified so I'm really glad that I I faced my fear and got all of this done because it looks so much better now.
think I've ever been more proud of myself that was literally the scariest thing I think I've ever done if you don't have um, phobias you probably don't understand how much fear was going through my body just then um, I'm literally out of breath because I've just been shaking like I'm terrified of spiders and I have no idea how there wasn't one at all up here so that makes me happy but um, I'm gonna flip you around because I haven't cleaned up here since we moved in so I want to show you just how gross it is and I'm going to give it a good wipe over and then we can actually finally start to decorate up here and just put other things up here other than um, wrapping paper and stuff so I'm just going to flip you around and show you the mess. So look how gross it actually is up here like I said I've not cleaned it since moving in just because of my fear of spiders so I really need to give this a wipe over. I mean, look how dirty it is. It's so gross. So I'm really looking forward to getting it all cleaned off so we can decorate it in different seasons and just do something a little bit different up here. So I'm just gonna clean that off and then get all of this down there organized. So this was actually really hard for me to film so I did most of it off camera but as you can see it's now nice and clean and ready for me to be able to decorate and just put other bits up here so I now just need to go through all of the wrapping paper and gift bags and everything and store those somewhere else I think I'm just going to have them in the upstairs wardrobe because it's then accessible to me as well because it was a nightmare having them up there because obviously I didn't want to be the one to have to get them down so it's nice to now have them in a space where I can get to them and have a space free to decorate. So if you've got any ironing to do, now's the time to grab it so we can iron together. I did have a quick break to make a quick coffee because you know how long ironing takes me. I was stood here for at least an hour. So I did want a coffee and I put Gilmore Girls on the telly just to relax and just iron everything without really feeling like it's a chore. That's what I always try and do, just have something on the telly with a nice coffee. And then it kind of feels like a break and it is quite therapeutic. So if you do have ironing, let's get it all done together. Another broken plate, another called off date. We never seem to get it right. Another heart attack. Words that we can't take back We are the reason opposites attract Once you slam the door on the second floor I regret it all When I think it through I can help the way I feel for you mm -hmm. You make me lose my mind like all the time It still feels right In an endless fight like every night It still feels right Even the worst can sting I wanna change a thing Cause without you everything means nothing You make me lose my mind like all the time It still feels right Sitting there by the phone Hoping you'll answer yours Baby, let's talk 
talk until we're fine. You've been in bed for days, empty without me, you say. Can't you just magically turn up in mine? Then you knock on my door on the second floor. When all the ironing was done and everything was clean and fresh downstairs I wanted to go ahead and rebuild the cage before I go and make my bed. I haven't made my bed today, I do try and do it in the mornings but as long as it's done before I go to bed then I don't really mind when it gets done so I left that until last today so I'm just going to go ahead and rebuild the cage and then head up to the bedroom. So the final thing that I needed to do today, it was just bring my babies downstairs. I really hope that you've enjoyed today's video and you found all the motivation that you came looking for. Please do consider subscribing before you leave and also leave today's video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys back here in the next one.